I think that um, one of the, the plagues on the, the lawyering and the judging business is that we write in a way that's way too uh, obtuse and obscure. And, um, uh, you know, when we complain, uh, as we are wont to do, that the public doesn't appreciate or understand, for example, the third branch and judges and judging and so forth, and then we produce these inscrutable uh, documents that nobody can decipher and understand. It's like looking at the Rosetta Stone. You know, uh, the shame on us. So particularly when you are writing for a broader audience, which you are in a case that has this kind of uh, notoriety and, and, and um, size, uh, I think it's incumbent upon the writer, the judge, to write in, in as plain an English as you can. Now, there has to be some legalese in an opinion because that's the nature of what we do in the analysis. But to the extent that you describe it as humanity, which is, I think is a good way to describe it, that, that, that there's um, some sense of, of, um, of, uh, the, the, of what the judge saw, of, of what the judge found compelling about a particular argument, um, uh, then uh, you know, I, th I, I think that's okay. And I think it makes it, frankly, an easier read uh, and a better read for the public, whether you agree or disagree with the judge's decision, at least you come away having a sense of what the judge saw, read, understood, and, and what his analysis was.